Hello Scorpios, how are you doing? I hope that you're doing well. Happy birthday to you Scorpios on November, it's November, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have myself October 24th. This is for October 24th, Scorpios. Look at that card, oh, it got stuck. But happy birthday to all of you on the happy, happy birthday. So everybody say happy birthday to everybody coming up in Scorpio season. Uh, this is a general collective read for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. So um, take it as it resonates, right? If it fits, it fits. Okay, if it doesn't, it doesn't. So just kind of, ooh, that Queen of Wands won't pop out. So we want to see what the energy for Scorpios, three, three of Cups. Now, not necessarily three of Cups is really bad here. Okay, so just kind of know that. So if you like a personal reading, Scorpio, for your birthday, I am almost booked for the month of October and November because um, I'm limited on my time as well. So if you like a personal reading, I have a few slots left open for some in this month and some next month. But I'm almost booked, so I think I might have like 10 openings. So if you like a personal reading for $55, uh, reach out to me, Scorpio, as quickly as possible. And um, I will set the time and the date that I have available. Um, I'm getting very limited. But of course, we can always stretch it out. Um, you can still get that $55 deal if you pay before the 23rd, okay, for Scorpio season. November the 23rd. So if you'd like to, even if it's like the, you can pay now and schedule for the 24th, 25th, whatever you want. But up to that 21st, 22nd right now, I'm almost completely booked. So um, for this month and this month. So maybe go ahead and get on in on the special for Scorpio season. All right, so let's see what our energies are for Scorpios. Okay. Scorpio, I hope that you saw that reading I did yesterday. It was actually really good. So take a look at me. All my, I, I want to believe that all my readings are doing well. But the one yesterday was very, very great. So take a look at for um, October 23rd. Posted yesterday. So this is going to be for your current energy, Scorpio. This is for the current energy, and then we'll ask some questions and see what's coming to mind, what things you need to know, whether it's in love, career, or finances, things like that, okay? So um, I'm not seeing that devil show up anytime soon, so hopefully that devil will stay away. Death card here. So what is this death card here, Spirit? Why is the death card here? This is you, Scorpio. So this is going to be your, okay, all right. So you have that Nine of Wands energy in the reverse. So remember the Nine of Wands is kind of still lingering there, right? It's still that energy where someone is thinking about you, still kind of thinking about you, thinking about you, thinking about you as always, because you're unforgettable. You know, you're just, you are. Um, so let's start up here with the Three of Cups in your overall energy, Scorpio, that you are, feeling pretty good about yourself actually I don't know what it is but you're feeling really good you're feeling like this new and I, I know there's some transformation going on right here but there's something still you know I would say if you're going through the healing process or you're trying to figure out life or you're trying to find another job anything like that you're going into a good direction to feel happy you're putting yourself in charge you're putting yourself in the driver's seat of your own life here so you're almost there you're almost at the finish line scorpio with getting over this healing understanding things and how things are going because you're kind of looking back here in your own three of cups is fulfilling your own happiness maybe you're out with friends socializing uh but just being overall happy Filling your own cup, maybe going out for wine, you know, wine vineyards, things like that. But um, you have the Nine of Cups here in reverse and the Ace of Swords with the Ten of. Yeah, it's like you're celebrating a new chapter in your life. That's what I feel like. It's like this new start, this new, you're almost at that finish line and you can feel it. Um, but looking back in your past here, I know this is your current energy, but this is why you're so happy now and you're feeling this vibration. You're getting into this, um, enlightenment spirit. You're feeling this, and that's the hierophant here, God in you. Um, you're just in this good place. You know, you're getting into this good place. Yes, you still need to do some things. You still got some healing. You need to transform some things. Maybe learn from what didn't work out last, last time. Why this, but the way it looks right here. 
um, you were very miserable with this person. Let's admit it, okay? Um, you may have thought you wanted this person, but now you look back, you're like, it's kind of like an old sock. <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. And I'm not doing it. I'm not going back. I was miserable. I was unhappy. And this person brought a lot of problems into my life that I had to, to deal with and I had to put up with. Um, and not only that, the person lied to you. That person didn't invest in you. This person didn't give you the, the commitment that you were asking for. Didn't give you that desire, right? And you kind of fizzled out this um, emotional desire that you really wanted them. And you were having this hope that they were going to change or they were going to get on the same page as you. But they never did. And that's the problem. You look back. But overall, you're realizing that, which is good. You're acknowledging it. And you're being pretty happy right now with things going in your favor. So once we get down here, you have the Eight of Pentacles. You're heavily focused on your job. And whenever I see the Eight of Pentacles, I advise you highly to go uh, get on Indeed. Um, look for other jobs. You know, whatever it is, that's probably the best one. Go on Indeed and just kind of... Um, start applying for positions maybe you're going back to school you're looking for a new career outlook and things like that now you have the four of swords in the reverse it is saying you are in that process like i said of healing the angel guides of spirit is kind of helping you through that emotional turmoil that you went through up here uh but that harpist there you're not quite at the finish race the finish line but you're almost there scorpio so hang on okay you got the four of pentacles there is something here that you're letting go because it didn't make you feel unstable it didn't make you feel right it just put you in a bad situation and it's all due to that knight of wands uh, male or female it doesn't matter you're kind of getting over this situation when you thought you couldn't get over it you did okay and you're moving on from here so let's see what else is connecting to your life here moving into your current energy continue the current energy yeah, you're getting to refill in your energy. You're refilling your fuel. And you're actually right now um, not looking for love. You might be socializing, being out. Some of you might be looking for love. But you're like, I'm going to be careful here who I handle my love to. Whose hands I put in their hands. You're very careful now. It's like you became wiser with this uh, hermit card. Uh, you know what you're looking for now. And you won't settle for less. Uh, the... Yeah, so the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Scorpio? This is what you're transforming. You might be afraid to not have some some kind of a value to yourself where you might want to look for another job or make changes. I'm not saying to do that. If it's not fitting you, it's okay. It's just a message I'm picking up on that um, there might be some kind of disagreement at work. Maybe there's somebody there that you work with that you're not getting along with. Maybe it's your boss or co-worker and you're kind of annoyed by them because they don't value you, uh, what you do at work. They're not seeing your worth. And this, I feel like this is more emotional. Or it could be this past person who did not see your worth. But you're starting to realize this thing. All these things are kind of coming together. So lastly, right here before we go into our outcome, I'm just kind of looking here. Um, you're not wasting any more time here. And you might, some of you might be out here looking for a relationship. You know, you might, but you're not wasting any more time of moving on in your life, getting forward to things. You're like, I'm taking myself out of that chaos, that craziness. I'm not dealing with that anymore. Um, you're not worried about a commitment. You're not worried about somebody who could not give you what you want. You're gonna give it to yourself. And now, that's what I said, you're in the Six of Swords energy. You're going to a calmer place. I do feel your vibration is very um, mellow now. You know, it's very chilled. It's very relaxed. Um, you're actually enjoying, you know, for the, for, for the first time in a long time. You have been through so many struggles, and now you're just starting to kind of feel that feel good again feeling. Um, but you are realizing now you are in charge of your own life. You're sitting on your own throne. And you're taking care, like I said, being in your own driver's seat of who you are and taking care of your life. But right here, it looks like, you know, you're not procrastinating uh, st about stability. You're looking at stability, maybe in a relationship or also emotionally and making changes to your life. But you are still in the transformational uh, process, okay? 
Okay, just one more for the anything else for Scorpio. Yeah, so you are coming out of the defense mechanism. You have been coping, defending yourself for so long, your heart, your guard, but you are kind of like relaxing more. That's what I'm getting from that energy and there's that sun card yeah that's about your energy this is really getting to that energy of relaxing and re recharging it's rejuvenating yourself you might be in a s solitude right now you might be by yourself and you might be crying but you need this time to yourself Scorpio this is what I'm advising take some time to yourself without mm -hmm. you are coming out of that queen of swords energy this person had you very angry very bitter very resentful hating you know you almost had a hate feeling i hate to say that word but it's that's the way you felt like this person you know how dare they come into my life and do this to me but now you're not feeling like that no more i think right now you don't give up you're not really caring about anything because you know the facts here the way this person behaved towards you now you do have some kind of connection here so we're going to see what that's about yeah but you got these got yeah so <coughs> you might have somebody that's just wanting to talk to you um, to get to know you because I don't see you go about this person but it's good for your best person energy that you feel like it's still lingering but you're not doing anything here you're not investing you're not trying for it you're just kind of letting it go you're like okay this didn't work okay move on you know that's your attitude your whole demeanor has changed so let's look at see what's coming up for you Scorpio and for Scorpio on October 24th for your birthday and again if you like a personal reading reach out to me in the description box um at angel goddess tarot at gmail.com angel goddess tarot and angel .com. so gmail.com sorry so let's see what's coming up here in energy so this space you are separated from this person you are on a break to break up whatever but you are living your best life here you're like the choosing you and you're making there's that will of fortune um, you are in this four of swords energy where, you know, you're looking at this as, uh, again, a, a big learning lesson, a very, very big learning curve, but you are putting yourself in a good position to be happy. And you're like, you know what? Okay. It didn't work out for me that that's okay. You know, there's a lot more people out there, but right now I want to just kind of take some space. I want to take this time to get rejuvenate myself, get back into the who I am, um, meet, go out with my friends, spend this time alone or travel or do whatever you want. This is what I'm feeling right here with your happiness. You got the Wheel of Fortune here showing good major changes is coming to your life and this is part of your transformation process, Scorpio. So let's see what that Wheel of Fortune is saying. Mm -hmm. um, you have that, somebody broke your heart, right? So that three of swords, you are in this, again, that, that healing phase. You're in the last stage of healing. That's what I'm talking for the most of you. Queen of Swords energy again. Double confirmation that you're not holding on to this energy. You're not being so uh, masculine or some kind of um, very aggressive or, you know, even, even you're not angry, things like that. You're just kind of reflecting about the moments, what you have taken away, away from the situation. You are waking up that you are the empress, you remember. And this person, you also have the emperor here. So you're like, hey, if I'm going to be with somebody, I, I want to be with somebody that is um, going to connect with me in a real way, not put me in, you know, options here of being like that. So you kind of realized a lot of things when it comes to relationships. It's like you educated yourself on relationships here and what you want best for your life. Okay. So... Eight, five, I mean, Page of Pentacles, this coward that you were dealing with, male or female, it doesn't matter. Uh, they do feel they should have came forward to you, but they're too scared to. You did make them happy. They're they're starting to realize your energy is infectious. Your your energy is so different and it's so contagious, and they miss that energy from you. So I think this person's very like they were seeking your attention. Maybe it's just just attention to have. Because when they didn't have nobody to talk to, they'll find you. Um, page of Cup in Reverse, Nine of Pentacles. So they are missing that. And they have became, they're missing your energy. I'm not saying they're missing you as a person. They just miss what you, you they took from you. So there's the Page of Cups in the Reverse. Um, 
I don't see that you're going to be making any kind of offers anytime soon. You can care less if they come back or not. That you just don't even care. Like you're, at, if this is the line right here, you're like right here. <laughs> you know, if this is the line, you're right here. You're almost getting ready to cross that line where, you know, you're forget. Not saying you forget this person. You won't never forget what they did. Um, but you're very balanced here. You're getting into a balanced state of mind and life and direction that's what I feel and you're very patient here you have been very patient with this temperance um, and find a peace and happiness by yourself so you are putting yourself in a good position as I was saying um, you're thinking about your future where you're going where you're heading you're in the Queen of Wands energy making changes for yourself and also like the moon card here you're really thinking about the changes you're gonna have to go through um, and realize life is like that. Life is always changing. You're in hermit mode. You're in the hermit mode with that same thing. So you're making this yin and yang change. You know, realizing things happen for a reason. And that's how you're seeing this. This is Phoenix. You don't feel no longer feel rejected or anger. Yeah, I don't. I just see most of all. And how, this just did not work out. And that's the way you feel. Like, okay, well, it didn't work out. One more card for Scorpio to close the reading, please. Wands is two of cups here. All right, there's someone here that's going to come towards your energy that's going to want to make changes. Um, you have proven your point to someone. They want to, they realize you are gone and you don't care about talking to them, but they do want to talk to you. Yeah, see, King of Cups. There's someone here that's going to be, or you might be falling in love again. I, I'm not saying for everybody, but I do feel like you're filling up your own cup here. And you're loving yourself. You're coming in as the king of cups. But you do have somebody that's going to want to talk to you because now you no longer care. I told you, reconcile. They want this reconciliation. Ten of cups on the bottom. You're not going to want it. Judgment card. So yes, there's an Ace of Swords again, but you are in that energy, like, you might, some of you might take this person back, maybe five or ten of you, but here this person has received some type of um, wake-up call regarding you, and they want to talk to you about, they miss how you love them. They miss the energy you gave them, they miss the love you gave them, the tension that you gave them. They're missing everything about you. And they realize you were in love with them. That's what I'm getting. They realize that you had this big heart and you were giving it to them. And now they can't. They know that you're changing your ways. They're changing your mind about them. And you're just like, okay, well, whatever. Um, I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to care. So it's kind of like when you stop caring, they stop. They start caring. caring. So what can you should you expect from this person for any cross-watcher? What should Scorpio expect from this person? Now, this is your decision, Scorpio. You don't have to go back to this person. Of course not. But they are heavily thinking about you, who you are as a person, and the energy you brought to their life, and all the benefits they got from you. Okay. So that's going to be the name of my reading, is when you stop caring, they care. Okay, let's see. What should Scorpio expect? They want your heart back. That's what they want. That, but you're not even gonna. And they they know this became toxic. That they didn't love you. They didn't love you correctly. Or you're not wanting to love them because they are toxic. They betrayed you, and you're not. You're recovering. They feel that you're recovering from it. Mm -hmm. And you're just moving on. You don't want their love. You don't know. They don't even know how to even approach you. But they're having hope here. Not at once. They're hoping that you can put the past behind you. Um, the lowest card, they do feel this connection to you, but they do know that you're just kind of over it because if they had you, um, they could have you in a third party as well, but they, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was getting ready to say Three of Swords with that Three of Swords, but they felt like, you know, they might be going through a divorce right now. I think when you met this person, they were not divorced or something that had somebody on the side that they were connecting with, but they're no longer, they know they have hurt you, 
but also it caused that breakup. So it's like, you know, this is also a breakup and that they're trying to stay distracted, not to feel hurt, but they're, they're getting to the point where they can't even hide it anymore, that they miss you and they're missing you and they missing the connection you had and the attention you gave them and all that kind of stuff and you're no longer won't desire them. You're just no longer interested. Okay, anything else from this person for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising? Yeah, they know they're working, but they know they lied to you. They filled your head up with a bunch of BS, but they have passion for you and they're hoping to have the courage to come towards you and they're not going to play any games anymore. They're not, they know they played games with you before. And I do, I do feel like Scorpio, you're, it's too late for them. Yeah, you're just kind of like, whatever, you know what? I'm the one who had to suffer through all this. You hurt my heart and you made bad decisions. So this is how they think. They think you, should, they owe, you owe them another chance because they changed. You have taught them a lesson and that now they learn this lesson they're like okay i'm not gonna play games with you I'm, i know what i want i'm gonna be brave i'm gonna be courage i'm gonna be strong to come back towards scorpio and bake this right and make it stable i'm not gonna play with scorpio's heart anymore they lost you they know that and this is where they're really feeling that they lost you because they are in this energy where <laughs> They they can see you like on a sailboat going out into the, you know, you're disappearing in the horizon. And they can't catch that sailboat or that boat again. They just see you going, fading out and out of their life forever, right? So this is why they feel like it's, you know it's too late with that card here. You're, it's too late and they, and they, they but they don't want to do that. They're trying, they're trying to... Uh, not be mad and they're not mad anymore towards you if there's a big conflict in the five of wands we had or you know any kind of problems they're not mad anymore they're not yeah five of pentacles they do feel like you're selling away you're you're walking away from the situation not looking back you don't even want them and you're they're not trying but like again they're not trying to remember you but they can't help it they know because you have the hangman here reverse they see you as the empress and they know that you're going on to be happy. And they can't do anything about it. They can't give you anything now. Because you don't want it. You just don't want it. But they do. They know they did you um, in this way. But I do feel like Scorpio. Your energy is no longer caring about this past person. I can feel that. It's just little by little. It's like a, you might have like 5 or 10% to work on. But it's slowly just dripping away. And you're just waiting for that last you're not even crying anymore i don't feel like you're, you have been crying or you've been upset i think you're just coming to awareness and understanding what this person actually did and you're like okay i don't even care anymore because this person made me tired this person took my energy this person did a lot to me so you're no longer interested it's like you don't you know like i said you stop caring and now you have became indifferent to them and cold you just completely went cold on them. Like, I don't even want you. I don't even want to look at you. I don't even want to talk to you. It's just like you're not doing it in a bitter way anymore. You're not feeling that resentful or resentment anymore. You're just kind of going away, you know. Like I said, so sailboat in the middle of the ocean, heading to the horizon, right? So um, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. So give me that thumbs up, showing the like for my time and my energy. And I love all Scorpios. I'm Scorpio Sun, Moon. Venus, uh, Scorpio, Mars, and Venus, I believe. I go back. But um, anyway, so if you like a personal reading, reach out to me in the description box. Uh, it's $55. But you need to reserve, you know, even if it's past the due date, you got to reserve between the 23rd. Because my belief is it stops. Scorpio season actually stops on the 23rd of November. Okay? All right, Scorpio, take care. Send her mostly love, like, keep, continue healing. Go apply for jobs, make changes in your life, continue healing, continue, continue healing, and focus on you. That is my best advice for you right uh, as we're going through these stages in life. It's just another chapter that you had to close, but yes. So anyway, you did a good job, and be proud of yourself, Scorpio. You are doing the right thing in life. Okay, Scorpio, take care. Send in a light. Have a great one, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.